AP Center at San Jose, home of the San Jose Sharks. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube. Covering HGST Sports Data Silicon Valley. Brought to you by HGST. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live at the Shark Tank in San Jose at the SAP Center. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm my host, Jeff Frick, General Manager of theCUBE. Special presentation here with HGST Sports Data SV. We're breaking down all the action in sports and data, obviously in Silicon Valley. Our next guest, Jonathan Martinez with the Oakland Raiders. Director of Business Development, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me this year. All right. All right. It's here Hello. for the greatness of the Raiders. Black hole. <laughs> we love the Raiders. Raiders. <laughs> the, um, congratulations on a big win against the Jets. We had a winning streak going. Thank you very That's much. I'm not a big fan of the Jets, as you know, or the Mets. <laughs> um, so, good win, but great, great run right now. So, this, people are pumped. Yeah. Good winning, winning streak going. Young team, things are in transition. What's going on with the Raiders? Give us a quick, yeah, quick update. Yeah, so your team's, team's doing very well. We're four and three right now, coming off a big win, back-to-back -back wins, good little winning streak. Uh, so we've got a young team, great quarterback, great wide receiver core, good running back, um, good defensive end. So you know we're, we're making some good changes on the field and it's, it's a definite impact. Fans are enjoying themselves at the games and you know, we're trying to do as much as we can to enhance that fan experience for them. How would you describe the Raiders brand? Trick, I mean, I kind of smile on my face. I mean, I love the brand. It's, you know, black and silver and black. Mm -hmm. It's the black hole. It's cool, good fan base, loyalty. Absolutely. What's the brand about? Well, I think you hit it right there, is the loyalty. I mean, we haven't had the, the best record on the field, but our fans can continue to support us on and off the field. I think we have one of the most passionate fan bases across all of sports, and you know, we can't do it without them. How much of the, how much of the DNA is Al Davis still in there? Is it mostly? He's, he's there in spirit. L.A. came to Oakland. Mm -hmm. yeah, what, no, what's I, the DNA like? You know, Mr. Davis built a great, great franchise, great organization, uh, pioneer in the league with you know, hiring the first Hispanic head coach, first African-American head coach, drafting the first African-American quarterback. You know, so, I mean, he's got a, he's got a plethora of things going on that you know, really enriches the culture of the organization, and you can see it in our fan base and as well within the organization. So now you're charged with kind of taking that historical precedent, the historical loyalty, and applying some big data, some analytics, yeah. and some modern technology. So talk about some of the initiatives you're working on to, to take what we all see in the spiky f shoulder pads and a super fashionate fan base, but now start to really organize it, collect the data, really understand who these folks are. Yeah, the biggest thing I think is uh, for us is enhancing, like I said, the fan experience. And it's really difficult to do that, right? I mean, you're in stadium, you're out of stadium, season ticket members, non-season ticket members, and how do you find the balance? You know, obviously our most passionate fans are our season ticket members, and we want to make sure that we are enhancing their game day experience, and as, as well as like their ticketing experience off the field. And we also have to find the balance with, you know, our loyal fan base who are not ticket members. You know, we have to extend the brand to them as well as we continue to build a culture for them. And the biggest thing for us is gathering as much data to make sure that we are giving them a great fan experience. You know, from the moment that they purchase a ticket to the moment that they enter the game, whether that's ingress and ingress with parking. Um, so we take a lot of pride in what we do there. We do a lot of surveys and research with our fans and really take that you know, feedback back to the table and sit and meet with people internally. Obviously, you know, we work with a lot of third parties and concessions and parking, and we want to make sure that you know, our fans are getting that great experience on game day. So what are some of the kind of surprises that you've gotten in this feedback loop, both positive and negative, that you just didn't know? You're just like, wow, I had no idea. I think a lot of the things that we take away from it is, um, even though fans seem extremely happy with you know, the team itself, you know, sometimes they're, they feel a little <coughs> lack of, hmm, I don't want to say what we're, their lack of um, overall, value, I guess, of the ticket, and how do we enhance that? So what we did this year was we rolled out a loyalty program for our season ticket members. And we're, you hear their feedback and they're telling us, hey look, we, we are your most loyal fans and we, we need the kind of behind the scenes access. So when you have a fan base and a season ticket member base of 42,000 strong, you know, it's difficult to get everyone on the field. It's difficult <laughs> to get people, you know, sideline passes or 
you know, a tour of the facility. So what we did is we rolled out this program for them to tell us what they would like and to get the items that they typically would not have access to. Um, and that loyalty program has been a big key for us in regards to understanding the whole holistic view of the fan. Right. So we actually have a unique identifier, obviously on the back end with their account ID. We're able to um, actually see the type of behavior that they're going and uh, participating through the portal, whether if it's social media, whether if it's online content, through the app, through Raiders.com. So it's been a really uh, key component of the data structure for us. But even then, the game day experience is only 16 regular season games a year. There's, what, four preseason mm -hmm. games and three or four postseason games if you, if you go all the way through. Mm -hmm. There's 365 calendar days in a year. Yep. So how are you using this information and what are some of your objectives around you know, taking care of that, that fan base when it's not game day? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us is working with our digital media department. And we got a great group there uh, that run our silver and black productions who deliver great content to the fans, whether if it be on um, the mobile device, whether it be on Raiders.com or even the shows that we produce um, that air throughout the season, our silver and black show. And making sure that, again, that we're providing relevant content 365 days a year because it's you know outside of the 10, 10 home games a year. I mean, you're right, there's 355 other days that we need to engage with our fans and make sure that you know, we're giving them everything that they need to you know, stay passionate about our, our team. How about merchandising? Obviously, great, great brand. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone loves Raiders logos, shirts are awesome. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, retail, concessions, Retail is a big part of our What's business. business? Yeah, we'll you know, we that. have 11 stores throughout the, uh, California, all the way from Southern California up to the Sacramento area. And, you know, it's a big part of our, of our franchise. I mean, it's 11 stores isn't, you know, easy to manage. Uh, we have an e-commerce platform, which does great for us. And um, that's the biggest thing as well right now is understanding the buying habits of fans. So we recently rolled out a data warehouse about 18 months ago. Uh, that's something that we're, you know, continuously building on and putting data sets in there. You know, we, I think, have ticketing data, merchandise data, and now it's matching back and really actually giving targeted campaigns and relative information and type of products to fans, right? So we want to make sure that if, you know, you have a daughter and we see that you're a Raider fan, but you know, we have your demographic and we see that, you know, you're a male, in mid-40s, whatever it may be, but we see that you're never shopping for men's products and you're always buying, you know, toddler gear, whatever it is. We want to make sure that we're serving the relative content to you. So we want to make sure we hit you with the right email. So looking at the type of purchase behavior that you actually have with us and, again, putting the right message in front of you at the right time. Every culture has a one thing that makes it unique, Intel's right here in our backyard, Moore's Law, Cadence of Moore's Law, ship, you know, smaller, faster, cheaper, doubling every six months, all that mm -hmm. stuff. What is the Raiders one thing that makes the culture the Raiders culture? You could point to one concept, one feature, one aspect. I think it goes back to your first question of, you know, what Mr. Davis put instilled in the organization. And I think um, the culture that he built from day one and his son Mark Davis still puts out there, I mean, that's the biggest thing is the commitment to excellence and the will to win. Commitment to excellence and the will to win. How is data now going into that direction? Because love that, love that mojo, always have. Well, um, I think it's different, one on the business side and one on the football side, right? I mean, analytics on the, on the football side is something I'm not involved with, but um, you know, that, that takes off more every day and every day, right? I mean, we had the gentleman up here a little earlier talking about all the type of data that's out there for us, whether if it's chips in the pads, whether if it's concussion, yeah. all these different things that are you know, used on the football side, um, which is extremely interesting. And then you've got, the, the thing that strikes me when I go to Raiders games is, is, the, is the history. Mm -hmm. um, obviously one of the original AFL teams and you, and you walk around and everybody's wearing their jerseys, but you know, see like Bo Jackson jersey, like, well, I forgot Bo Jackson was with the Raiders. Mm -hmm. And obviously Kenny Stabler and a bunch of, a, a, just a bunch of players. And then you got kind of the newer generation. So from, from your kind of client management perspective, how do you kind of manage the tradition of the old and, and all that that represents with getting new, new fans? And yeah. you know, a younger generation of fans has got a different connection with the team, a different set of players, a different kind of experience and expectation. Yeah, so I think we do a very good job with um, our past players in our alumni program. So from a premium perspective on game day, if you're in some of our suites, we do a lot of alumni visits and you know we have people requesting alumni visits so they're able to meet with former players during the games. Um, obviously it's a little difficult to interact with current players just because you know throughout the season you know they're on the field they're and the field. working out all the time but you know again uh, we do a fabulous job of putting our uh, players out in the community once a week on their days off mm -hmm. and we have a huge huge focus on the community. We're out in the Oakland community regularly having you know Gatorade play 60 
and all these different types of things. Um, always out, again, focusing on the youth. Um, that's one of the biggest things that we've uh, instilled in our organization is making sure that we're putting a foot in the community. John, thanks for sharing the insights on the cube. Share one more piece of data before we break that someone might not know about the Raiders that you, that you think they should know about. Well, that's interesting. Um, I would have to say, uh, just the, again, the, the culture and how it really, really goes again from owner down and how passionate he truly is about the organization. Um, you know, a lot of people don't get to see him every day and the passion again that he delivers, you see that top down from our president, Mark Bedane, all the way down to all of our staff and the passion, I mean, that's the biggest word that I'll yeah. keep using. Kim and commitment to excellence. I mean, it's... The will to win. It commitment is. Commitment to excellence, will to win, sports data SP. We'll be right back with more after this short break. Jonathan Martinez, the Oakland Raiders, here in theCUBE. <laughs>